This is day one of advanced Azure virtual desktop training. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Recently, I added a new playlist for VDI solution. And in this playlist, I'll give you the A to Z information about how to set up our environment with the help of Azure virtual desktop. I'll try to cover each and every topics based on the AG140 certification based content. And also give you the complete practical detail because you know that Teach Me Cloud always try to give you 100% live practical based video. So definitely I also try, try to give my level best to define the concept of Azure Virtual Desktop. And make sure after completing, once you complete the entire playlist, the entire video of this particular playlist, definitely you are able to handle the AVD solution environment. This is day one. So as per the day one, the schedule, as per the schedule, I'm going to give you the basic information, right? Because I'm going to start from the very basic to intermediate and then expert level. In part of expert level, I'll share multiple projects, real time project. Those projects can help you to handle your day to day tickets for the Azure virtual desktop. So let me move ourselves to the whiteboard screen and give you the basic understanding of VDI and Azure Virtual Desktop like prerequisite and how you can start your journey to become an Azure Virtual Desktop engineer and also discuss about the importance like benefits of our AVD solution, right? So let's move ourselves to the desktop screen or you can say that uh, uh, whiteboard screen. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So let me share my screen and give you the basic understanding of VDI solution and also Azure Virtual Desktop. Okay, now we are on page of our uh, desktop screen and let me help you to understand about the content that we need to cover in case of AG140, which is correlated to the configure and operating Microsoft Azure virtual desktop. So this is day one, this is class one of advanced Azure virtual desktop training. And uh, in this class, I'll give you the, as discussed, like as the prerequisite, you should know about the concept how Azure Virtual Desktop uh, can help us to manage our resources, how Virtual Desktop can help us to uh, manage the manpower, the less manpower and low cost means in, it will also affect the costing of our on-premises infrastructure. So let me open the content. This is the page of content and let me open the plan and plan and Azure Virtual Desktop implementation. And according to the content, we just need to click on start that give you the proper roadmap of our training. Objective, learning objective of day one, not day one of module one. This is the introduction. And in introduction, I'll give you the complete detail like uh, what is AVD, what is VDI solution. So Azure Virtual Desktop is our desktop and application virtualization service that run in the Azure Cloud, Azure Virtual Desktop work across devices like as a Windows, Mac, iOS, Android and Linux. You can use the AVD based virtual machine on any platform with applications, with apps and uh, that, that you can use to access remote desktop and application as well. Okay. What is meaning of VDI? What is meaning of uh, Azure Virtual Desktop? So guys, if we talk about AVD, if we talk about the concept of Azure Virtual Desktop, AVD. In case of AVD, as we know that the Azure Virtual Desktop can help us to set up our infrastructure. And by using the AVD infrastructure, we can create a virtual machine and we can access a single virtual machine through the multiple users at the same time. The prerequisite we have already discussed, like as a, you must need to set up your uh, domain controller. It's mandatory. You need to establish your ADTS and the ADDS should be connected with the Azure AD, which is intra-admin, right? Azure AD. And also the Azure AD should be connected with the AVD host pool, right? So question, what is host pool? We should know about the concept of host pool. So basically the host pool is a backend uh, host, right? It's a type of backend host like as a ESXi 
only for the example right it's a type of esxi which is contain the high configuration of machine it will give us access to create a virtual machine right it will give us option to create a virtual machine and a single virtual machine can access by the multiple users we can set up a multiple session session 1 session 2 and session 3 according to the requirement you can set up for multiple user means a single virtual machine you can access through the multiple user at a same time it is applicable for all the types of platform like you can access the virtual machine that you created using windows you can access the machine with the help of a linux machine mac operating system you can access through the android operating system and chrome operating system as well so it means that the all types of desktop are you can say that platform can help us to access the virtual machine that is established over a azure virtual desktop the benefit to set up our azure virtual desktop it will help you to provide easy to access vm access machine from any location right any location i'm talking about the geographical location you just need to create your azure virtual machine using the avd environment and you are trying to access from any different location you can do that we can configure storage to save profile data right i'm talking about the user profile data the avd can also help us provide access of vms rdp and application right like you don't want to provide the access of your virtual machines rdp right you are you created a one virtual machine in avd host pool but you don't want to provide the access of rdp because once user able to access the rdp he can access the entire services which are available in our uh, avd virtual machine so what you can do that you want to provide the access of only application without the rdp so yes vdi solution are uh, uh as you virtual desktop can help us to access our virtual machines applications only not the entire services not only not the entire uh, rdp so as it is lots of options we can find in our azure virtual desktop so this is day one so that that's why i'm giving you the basic idea and meanwhile let me give you the pre requisite right so pre requisite for avd setup as we discussed avd is the part of our azure portal so what are the prerequisite user should create uh, at least one azure subscription you must need to create your own azure subscription then you should have idea about the vnet you should know about how to configure vnet number third azure compute services you must need to know about what are the options are available in azure compute services number 4 you must need to know about azure ad which is intra admin now number 5 you should know about adds services your responsibility to know about the azure storage it means that if you have idea about azure ag104 and now you are planning to uh, make a career in azure virtual desktop so definitely you are able to understand about the services of azure virtual desktop and you are properly able to implement the services from scratch right so these all are you can consider as a prerequisite right uh, to understand and manage the azure virtual desktop services so what you need to do if you want to proceed your training with me according to the video that i am going to upload so please do one thing you can create and sign up yourself over azure portal because you should uh, contain your own uh, azure subscription to perform the practical with me this is devan and uh, i will connect tomorrow and discuss about how we can 
start our journey with Azure Virtual Desktop and we'll give you the, some practical part like as a, how to set up a host pool and the importance of Azure networking and Azure Virtual De Azure Active Directory and on-premises ADDS. So these all are the points that we will cover in our upcoming session. Please suggest and uh, give your valuable feedback on this particular playlist and definitely I'll try to complete the entire content by within 20 to 25 days as you know that I have already created another playlist parallelly also going on I'm talking about the advanced Microsoft 365 course that uh, in this in the playlist of my advanced Microsoft 365 I have already uploaded up to 15 plus videos so give me your feedback for the office 365 and Azure virtual desktop training that's it guys please do subscribe and share my channel with your office colleague and your friends as well and i'll always try to give you my level best i'll give you the proper 100 percent practical based videos take care guys bye bye and we'll connect soon with another video bye